I am not one of these guys who pays a whole lot of attention to global warming and things like that. I'll be honest, I really don't care about those kind of things, and I'm pretty sure that's because I have two teenage daughters. <laughs> and anybody out there with teenage daughters, I'm sure you'll back me up when I say that. You guys have teenage daughters? I'm sure you'll back me up when I say that there are a lot of days where I really don't care what kind of planet they're left with. I really don't care. <laughs> Teenage girls, huh? You know, there's, time, there's times I don't even like it when they call me dad. It just, uh, just implies a level of commitment I'm not always up for. It just, uh... <laughs> There's days they approach and I just stop them about 10 feet away. You know what? I'm Dave today. <laughs> Dave doesn't have $20. Dave can't drive you to Maddie's house. With any luck, your dad will be back in a couple days. That's all I can tell you. So. <laughs> the way they talk to you, it's just, uh, it's just so sharp and just so angry. I asked my oldest daughter, I said, what do you want to do with your life? She goes, I like birds. <laughs> Did you even hear the question I asked you? <laughs> she goes, yeah, I like birds. I want to be an ornithologist. All right. So she's not moving out. <laughs> I love them though, man. I love, I love having kids. And uh, uh, gosh, I remember when they were little, you know, that first one. The first one scares you to death, don't they? Because that's the one you prepare for. You over-prepare. You read books, you watch videos, you go to class, you think you know everything. The water breaks, you forget everything. Right? <laughs> remember the first time I held my oldest daughter in the hospital and she pooped her diaper? I thought she was going to blow like a potato in the microwave. <laughs> Because if you've ever seen an infant do that, they squeeze into a tiny little piece. And I'm screaming at my wife, get a fork, put some holes in her. <laughs> if this kid blows, the insurance does not cover the cleanup, I'll guarantee you. <laughs> but then you get him home. You get to figure him out at home, don't you? You figure you get to close the door, you go, all right, let's see what we got here. You figure out they're a lot more durable than you thought. <laughs> Which is great training for the second kid. Because by the time the second kid rolls around, you're a pro. You're so much more confident with your second child. Because by that time, you've been pooped on, peed on, puked on. You've used your own finger to dig a booger out of somebody else's nose. <laughs> So that second kid, you don't even really care about that second kid, do you? I mean, they're naked rolling in dirt in the backyard. Hose her off, we're late, let's go. They could be going towards the outlet with a fork, you don't even stop them. Let's see what happens here. Hey, did you know that Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? Download it right now to watch, save, and share clips. And watch my whole special.